It's, uh, it's tremendous value for us as, as an Armenian church to have children come together from different parishes so that they can uh, share a common experience. Uh, of course, they share common experiences uh, when they come together for a dance or a sports weekend, but to spend over a week together and to go through your daily life with uh, friends from other parishes, other parts of the country, uh, you have the opportunity to make lifelong friends. They build community. Uh, a lot of these immersion programs, and I call them immersion programs, whether it be St. Vartan Camp or a High Camp or St. Narcissus Summer Study Conferences or the sports weekends that we have, are type times when the kids can stay together at an extended period of time, really get to know each other, to build relationships with one another. And I think the value is there is that they, with this modern technology, they're texting each other, they're calling each other, uh, they can't wait for the next time that they will be together. And so it really is a bond that they grow uh, diocesan-wide. Just as important as it is to um, have uh, uh, children from all different parishes, it's just as important to have their parish priests come and visiting clergy come so that our, our children are exposed to all different clergy uh, within the diocese. Uh, it's very uh, uplifting to, uh, to the kids that from a certain parish when their pastor comes to camp. Uh, it's a sign uh, of a comfort for them. Um, and it's important that our clergy get to know our kids, the kids that we are pastoring for, not only on a local parish level, but also on a diocesan-wide level. Our day starts every morning with worship. Uh, Monday through Saturday we have a uh, matin service uh, with a uh, short homily that's given every day for the kids. And on um, every Sunday we celebrate, uh, Baldarak celebrate the Divine Liturgy. And we end every evening uh, with Vespers. So they are getting exposed to the Armenian liturgical life um, and understanding how important prayer is to their own lives. The children uh, have classes every day in Armenian language and in Armenian heritage. Armenian language is a double-faceted uh, program where they have computer work. Uh, there are wonderful computer programs. So there's more interactive uh, in the way that the children are learning to learn these days. And also instruction. And as heritage, uh, they either have singing on a daily basis, Armenian uh, folk songs, Armenian liturgical songs, and also Armenian folk dancing. Well, Armenian culture and language are part of our, our daily lives at camp. Uh, they're not only part of the curriculum in terms of having uh, Armenian language and culture taught through, uh, through dance, through song, but also throughout the day, even at uh, meal times, we'll, we'll repeat uh, words and phrases so that at the very least our campers can go home with even a basic knowledge of some of uh, Armenian words and, and phrases. At St. Vartan Camp, the kids begin at age eight, and at High Camp, they begin at nine. In both of our programs, the campers go until they're 15, and they then have an opportunity to apply to be a CIT, or a counselor in training, which is for those that are age 16 and 17. After learning the role of a counselor through the CIT leadership program, they then have an opportunity to apply to be a counselor at the age of 18. Most of our counselors are college-age students, ranging from ages 18 to 22, um, but there's always an opportunity for for those that serve in their parish to come back and serve as instructors or to be able to mentor um, those that are learning the camp program. As a camp director, it's wonderful to see young campers grow into uh, becoming CITs as well as counselors. We, uh, we have counselors that have been attending our camp programs for seven, eight, nine, ten or more years and it's uh, amazing to see them uh, grow up and to grow into uh, maturity both in their uh, faith as well as in their uh, life experiences. During camp, especially the councils and the CITs, they learn a lot about themselves and how they can live life as a Christian to give them an alternative to what the world says and to really enjoy life and realize that you can have a fulfilling life living it in a Christian way. Through my role as the Youth Outreach Coordinator, I have the opportunity to see the children engage not only in the camp program, but in their parish life, and to see how much the camp program helps draw them closer to the Armenian Church. 
to see them involved in Sunday school and Armenian school, as well as their ACYOAs, giving back to their parishes.